Hello and welcome to the NBS Show, episode number 416. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and this week we got a lot of news, surprisingly. So, I want to say thank you to all of you who came in to join the NBS Show live at BabsCon Online. Uh, it was a fun experience, and uh, Evot is available on BabsCon Online, but if you stick around in the show, uh, the vote will be up there soonish, I think this week. But anywho, uh, we got some news, let's get right into it. So, first news is, EVO Online brings on them fighting herds. So, with the whole pandemic going on, a lot of events are cancelled. So... What do you do when things get cancelled? You do things online. Uh, Babscon did it, and Evo is going to do it too. So, the lineup for Evo has been, let's see, um, a few few games are going to be out there, and if I do remember right, uh, Street Fighter Five is going to be there, Dragon Ball, uh, it says here, Mortal, Mortal Kombat, Aftermath, Skullgirl, Second Encore, uh, Kill Instincts. So, there's a few games out there that are going to be there, and this is going to be really cool. Um, the event's going to be happening on July 4th? Well, wow, for July. Uh, and let's see what they have to say. So, um. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, uh, it was cancelled because of the pandemic. Yes, that we do know. Um, nah, I, I ain't seeing anything much here. But uh, the lineup for the official, uh, what you might call this, uh, Evo, uh, center stage or the highlighted one, the top nine, were going to be. Under Night In Birth, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, uh, Taken Seven, Marvel vs. Capcom Two. This one is special. Street Fighter Five, Soul Calibur Six, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, and Samurai Showdown. So, uh, most of these games here are fun if you play the fighting games. But one of the biggest flaws for all of those games are the net code, the net code is terrible, very bad. So games like what, Mortal Kombat Eleven, uh, Skull Girls Two, Kill Instinct, and them fighting hurts have really good net code. So they're gonna be sorry, those games are going to be running smoothly. So them fighting hurts up on stage after what last week I reported that IGN gave it a eight out of ten. So that's cool. Let's hope that them fighting hurts get more attention on the limelight so they can expand the game with more characters and well just make the game more fun uh, as for now it's only six characters for the game uh, a seventh character will be coming soon enough but other than that we got no idea so this should be fun this should be fun and let's head on to the next news so next news is Rainbow Dash gets an official pride shirt in new big and tall pony line from Pop Funk. So this one is one of those things where I'm wondering, huh? What's this now? Not that I'm against LGBTQ, but it's just that, hmm. This is just one of those cases where. Rainbow Dash has Rainbow Main, so take advantage of it. Mm. But I've checked out the store, and they have a full lineup of, what you call this, merchandising where uh, it features some of the ponies uh, in being LGBTQ or whatever it is, and saying stuff like, okay, uh, we got here Rainbow Dash being proud, um, Let's see, Rainbow Dash say Pride is Magic, and so on. And then you got some normal stuff like Girl Power, Toilet Sparkle, Rarity, and so on. And in all honesty, this is not bad. Like, some of the designs are cool. 
I I do like what the uh, comic shirt. This one. Oh, I'm I'm noticing that there's no cursor on the. Yes. Anyway, uh, I I do like the comic f uh, styling here. This is one of those cool designs. Or uh, let's see, the twenty percent cooler is well a good classic. Oh, the blanket or towel looks good too. So yay. Oh, uh, be cool, be kind. Yeah, that's that's a good one too. But other than that, um, it's just okay, I guess. I mean, if Hasbro says it's all good, it's good. Uh, price starts around twenty dollars and twenty five cents, and yeah, it goes from oh wow, uh, S size to five um, X size. So that's oh, you have options. So other than that. I can say much. If you want pony shirts, this is an option for you to go get them. Uh, I I'm not hundred percent sure if we of find still caters to the ponies, but if they do, there's a place to check it out. If not, uh, like here, EQD says there's T Public. Yay! And let's move on to the next news. And yay! Next news is uh, Ghostbusters Plasmin now listed on Amazon UK. Uh, I reported this last week where we have a lot of crossovers going on from the Power Rangers to the Ghostbusters to um, Transformers. What did I report on? Oh yeah, D&D. &D. Yeah, so now we get to see how this looks. And uh, this is the crossover between Ponies and Ghostbusters. Uh, the main is, in fact, they're they're hot plastic. They're not even brushables, so I, I'm guessing this is, could be the similar size to a vinyl. So yay! But other than that, um, it's just a basic design where the pony just wears a shirt or is in a costume, and they have a cutie mark of the branding on the flank. So. There's more to this because we see that, hey, the Power Rangers and Ponies version are out. And same thing again. Um, you got what? Uh, Morphing Pink Pony and My Little Prime. <laughs> My Little Prime is weird. It seems like a hmm, horse robot thing, truck thingy, where hmm, it, it makes you wonder how it would transform. But overall, uh, this is kind of cool, and I I, must, I still wonder why are they using the G one or could this be G three? I, I don't remember. But this is not from G four or G. What was it again? Uh, G four or the the other thing that the ponies are doing now, I forgot. Yes, but the the model seems different and interesting, but. Hmm. Now that I really look at it, the base model for all of the ponies here are similar. They're the same, except for the color of the mane and tail. Huh, makes you wonder. But anywho, uh, that's that for now. And if you're not a big fan of the Hasbro product line, how about Kotobukiya? Kotobukiya Applejack, now available for pre-order. So, like I mentioned before, um, the last time we reported uh, Sunset Shimmer is available. But now, we got Applejack here and she is now up for pre-orders. So, if you go click on the link, uh, the official Kotobukiya store, uh, she is going to be released in November 2020. A scale of 1 to 7, 220 millimeters tall. And uh, it doesn't say if you could pre-order here. I I'm guessing you could just go to some other stores like AmiAmi or whatever your local anime store that you go to. But with that, uh, all of the ponies are quote-unquote out. So that's really awesome. You got what the... All six, but the one that I'm really after is Sunset Shimmer. Uh, 
that's going to be cool. And oh, uh, let's see. It says Pinkie Pie is out. Can I zoom in? Okay, it says Pinkie Pie is out, Twilight's out, Fluttershy's out. Uh, Rarity is going to be out in uh, June, June of 2020, uh, November of 2020 for Applejack, and August for Rainbow Dash. So all of the ponies here have a release date settled, just need to pre-order them and so on. I know a friend of mine is really excited for this because to him AJ is best pony, but he's wrong. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I really would love to get that Sunset Shimmer one. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, so that's the news for this week. And well, let's head on to the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing with my week? And in all honesty, I haven't done much because things have been really, really slow. It's one of those things where I should be doing stuff, but haven't but what i did do well technically it is a lie i i did some stuff okay uh let's run down by memory uh i played the legend of zelda breath of the wilds that is a fun game i i at first i wasn't really used to the game but upon playing it a couple of times i found enjoyment it's one of those games where if you like exploring if you like uh, discovering things, and if you played Skyrim and enjoyed it, this is your game. It's not as intense or as extreme as Skyrim, but it 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 scratches that itch where exploration is kind of a positive for it. Uh, in Breath of the Wilds, you play as Link. And you go from places to places to, well, at first, you have to uh, cleanse the divine beasts. And then once that's done, there's four of them, by the way. And once that's done, you can do other things to your heart content. You could clear out shrines, complete side quests, collect Korok seeds, and so on. And... For a guy who doesn't really like playing uh, exploration games or uh, building stuff like that, mm, not a big fan of Minecraft or the like. But this one is not the same, but I I had that fear where I don't really like exploration. I don't really like mm, going through places and discovering stuff. But once I got into it i don't mind it it was really enjoyable uh other than that uh magic the gathering um the icoria set has come out and i have bought the commander 2020 set um still haven't played with anyone yet because of the pandemic but i do hope to fix that soon enough with online and whatnot just need to get myself available to play other than that, um, nothing much, nothing much. But still, um, I do hope that things change a bit soon. There's a lot of things that I need to check out and stuff. But anywho, uh, let's wrap it up. So, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at bmbshowgmail.com. Uh, you can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at NBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and Stitch Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast, available on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Terra reviewing the pony episodes, comics, and also movies and specials. We also like to do other things like comic books, animes, video games, movies. So do check us do check us out there. You who knows you might 
see us review something wacky or insane like a movie from Weird Al. That's one of the projects I really, really want to do. But if not, probably Batman. Batman seems to be the hottest thing right now. What else? Uh, okay. Um, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash yes show. With every support, you get a weekly access to the review and discussion podcast exclusive and the content. And a huge thank you from me. And talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Tristan, and also Master of Leg. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and thank you for joining me on the MBS show. I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode. See ya!